Digging up the truth, that was the mission of the original 1921 Tulsa Race Riot Commission formed in 1997. Tonight, our Mike Brooks takes a step back, looking at why that commission was needed in the first place after such an historic event. I moved here in 1997 and was just shocked that I knew more about this history than most Oklahomans who were born here. This history was intentionally buried for more than 50 years. Researchers had their lives and livelihoods threatened. The state of Oklahoma only formed a commission to study the deadly 1921 massacre after the state legislature forced its hand. State lawmakers tasked researchers and commission members with finding facts long ago swept under the rug. Now, probably by the time I was 10 or 11 years old, you would maybe hear neighbors talking about it or some group of adults, and uh, they would always change the subject or lower their voices, and you couldn't really find out much about it. In January of 1997, three state lawmakers introduced House Joint Resolution 1035. And basically put together a committee of people from across the state to research the event because, of course, it had not been talked about very much or necessarily researched officially by any government organization um, since back in 1921 when it first happened. Leaving many people to learn the details of the massacre for the very first time later in life, including one Tulsa City Councilor. I was an adult. I was in my early 30s before I heard about it. And I was born, you know, six blocks north of, of Greenwood. So commissioners and consultants began to dig. The commission was charged with answering a set of specific questions. Those questions, what happened? Who are the survivors? How many people died? Where were they buried? And most controversial, would reparations be appropriate? Reparations, a question Tulsa's leaders wrestle with even today. The problem I have with that is where the cash comes from. It would come from a tax levied on this generation of Tulsans who are completely innocent uh, of anything that criminals did 100 years ago in Tulsa. An article from the Denver Post from 1999 shares that it wasn't just the idea of reparations that bothered people. Although it's gotten strong support from many Tulsans, the project stirs shame for other residents, other events more comfortably lost to memory. To some, the findings the commission presents in January likely will revive a much less welcome image of old Tulsa, violent and lawless. Tulsa Representative Monroe Nichols says that's a problem even now. We're seeing a backlash against uh, really telling that story. But it's important to do because, you know, for 50 years, Tulsa let, lost its sense of honesty, and we're now getting it back. And the more we learn about what our past really is, the better that will help guide us in the future. Mike Brooks, 2 News.